Good morning. I'm Kathleen Milam and welcome to the cohort class of 2021 virtual graduation for our Masters in Accounting and Masters in Business Analytics. I will turn it over to the Master of Ceremonies, Senior Associate Dean Monica Powell. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this wonderful occasion to celebrate your graduation. I'm Dr. Monica Powell. I'm the Senior Associate Dean and Graduate Dean here in the Jindal School, and it is my honor to host your virtual graduation. So I hope all of you are out there getting ready, ready to celebrate a terrific accomplishment. It is my honor to introduce Dean Hassan Prakul with his remarks on your graduation. Accounting cohort graduates, congratulations on your accomplishments. Graduation days are my favorite times of the year. These are happy days when we see you off to start your new lives. Please know that we are proud of your accomplishments. I wish I had the opportunity to shake your hand and congratulate you in person. I hope one day you'll come back and give us an opportunity to do just that. But for now, good wishes will have to do. Farewell and stay safe. Thank you so much, Dean Perkul. Here is a Dean who absolutely loves and adores graduation. It is my honor to introduce our Vice Dean, Dr. Varghese Jacob for his comments on your graduation. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, I know this has been a tough year. Uh, it's not what you expected. Um, you probably saw all your faculty during the last year uh, via technology, but the nice thing is, of course, uh, some of you are technologists, uh, the, at least the business analytics guys, as well as the guys who got the double degree. So you know technology works and it has helped us get through this uh, year, if you will. But most importantly, I think uh, despite what this year has brought us, all of you have persevered and got your degrees. So what does that tell us? That you will be successful no matter what. Things can only get better from here on, right? I mean, things can't get any worse. So the nice thing for you as you start your career, you know that things are always going to be looking up. And having gone through this year, nothing can phase you going forward you will always be ready for any challenge and i know you will be successful as you go forward uh, so that the important thing as you go forward is not just success that you need to worry about i if there's one thing you need to worry about as you go forward and the most critical thing in my mind is how you manage your time uh, with success comes lots of demands on your time and uh, make sure you spend time work is important so you have to balance your time with work family fun as well as as well as making sure that you are uh, helping people around you who are not as successful and that is also just as important as being successful so as you go forward i won't take too much of your time uh, i know all of you will be successful and along with your parents, we will take full credit for it. But uh, remember to also spend time on other things besides work. So as you go forward, congratulations. And in the words of Mr. Spock, live long and prosper. Thank you. Dean uh, Jacob, <clears throat> you have said that perfectly. Live long and prosper. That is our hope and expectation for all of you. You know, the MS uh, a cohort program resides and has under the direction of our Associate Dean in Executive Education. So it is my honor to introduce you to uh, John Barton. And John, I know you've got some great words of congratulations for these particular students. MS and accounting graduates, congratulations, you did it. My name is John Barton. I am the Associate Dean of Executive Education and an accounting professor. Graduates, forever you will be family of UT Dallas and the Naveen Jandal School of Management. 
I want to leave you with three thoughts. I want you to work hard, be honest, and believe in yourself. Stay in touch and forever your family members and go Comets. Don't we all just absolutely uh, love and adore the energy of John Barden? You know, I had the pleasure of teaching all of you your professional development class, so I feel like I know um, each and every one of you, and it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Parker Middleton, who represents you in his comments on behalf of your class. So, Parker, it's great to see you. Take it away, and let's hear what you have to say for your classmates. Yeah, it's great to see you all, too. Thank you so much. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today at our class's commencement. Um, like she said, I'm the class president of the Graduate Accounting Cohort Class of 2021. And when I was asked to speak today during today's ceremony, I thought to myself, what should I even talk about? Like, what short story should I choose to tell? And as I called to mind different memories, my mind began to wonder about the one big memory we all have that is like the, the big collective experience that we've shared together as graduate students in such a strange world event. Two years ago, we began our program with bright eyes, uh, excitement in our hearts and openness towards others. And for many of us, this was the first time to be in the US or away from family for an extended period of time, or to be in connection with such a diverse group of students unlike ourselves. We began that fall in 2019 by sharing our histories and our backgrounds with each other. We put aside political differences and, and we formed a special team of less than 20 or fewer than 20 to endure a two year program together that was not only strenuous academically, but was also taught in a language that was for many of us, not our mother tongue. What a feat. That in itself is something that is very notable. Then came March 2020. By then we felt like family. We had gone through finals together, shared many meals together, laughed, cried, and we were ready to take a nice pause for spring break. When we learned that we wouldn't be coming back from spring break, what a shock. By now we're all used to and mostly tired of reliving the sadness that COVID brought. But as I thought back to my original thesis for this speech, what story do I want to tell? Or you know, what, what story do we want to tell? And therein lies the great paradox of, of the lives that we live a large portion of it is based on perception. So therefore, instead of focusing on the things that COVID took away, uh, today I'd like to finish this time by calling to mind three great things that this pandemic gave this class of 2021. Intentionality, experience adapting to a hybrid world, and the freedom to rethink that what we consider normal. For one, this pandemic gave us the power of intentionality. Ordinarily, we would come across each other every day and our meetings had had little meeting, meaning day to day because they were just indiscernible from one to the next. But because of our new way of life, we now get to choose to meet with intention, uh, which makes our reunion so much sweeter due to their brief nature. I relish the times that we now meet up, like that time at Seth's apartment, or when we got to go, or when we go to eat hot pot at Square, or when we just try a new Chinese restaurant in town. Another perk of this new life is that we are masters of the hybrid model. For many adults that have been working in the world for a while, going online was tough because they were doing a, a job that they had done for so many years now in a different format. But for us, normally as students, uh, we already have had this semi-hybrid model by going to class during the day and then coming home to do schoolwork and then maybe going to class again until 10. There was no quitting time at five o'clock. And so now as we enter the working world, we can stand confident that we will not have that adaptation problem because we will have been fully steeped in working at all hours of the day or in all types of locations or for all sorts of types of bosses, which we call professors. And so lucky for us now, most of our work will also end at 5 p.m. Uh, and the third point of gratitude is that we were given permission to rethink what we consider to be our definition of what's normal. With such balanced divisions between work, home, school, we gained a newfound understanding of what we now value in our life. I, for one, learned that I love working from home and that I must have access to a standing desk or I will literally die. Some other experiences that I've heard from classmates is how one person rethought their ideas of what they want in their future and how they wanted to be closer to family back in China instead of uh, staying here in the US. Another classmate decided to turn down a bad job offer, acknowledging the fear that being jobless entails, but then they eventually found a much better job not too long after. From what I've observed with this class is that we, as a collective, are learning about ourselves on a much deeper level now and giving our bodies and minds the respect that it deserves. We're stopping to smell the roses, or as they say here in Texas, stopping to smell the blue bonnets. Uh, so in closing, I want to say thank you to this class for being like a family to me and to each other during this wild two year, these wild two years together. It was totally unlike any experience that I thought we were stepping into, but I would not have changed it for the world. 
I hope we continue to stay in touch with each other and I wish all of us good luck as we continue on to the next journey. Parker, you could not have said that better. I think if a student can be successful in an extraordinary time where nothing is normal, then when everything is normal, you'll do nothing but soar. Um, I absolutely love your comments today. I think they reflect the collective experience of your classmates. And, you know, now it's time to recognize your classmates. And so I want to bring back um, uh, Kathleen so that we can recognize every single one of you that have accomplished this together. Kathleen? Ja Ray Chen, Masters in Accounting. Be bold, be courageous, and be yourself. Albert Chi, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics, Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Work hard and live life to the fullest. Jonathan Daniels, Masters in Accounting, six years in the making. Chawi Dung, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. Keep calm and carry on. Ling Ray Go, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, it will land among the stars. Yuen Jung Jin, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. Love is wise. Hatred is foolish. Set Lee, Masters in Accounting. Don't panic. Shi Ming Lin, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Lots of exam fees. Parker Middleton, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. So grateful to Steve and Kathleen for giving me a chance and also to my boyfriend Bryce for being my biggest supporter these past two years. Giovanni Pardo, Masters in Accounting. Work hard, play hard. Ta Yuan Su, Masters in Accounting. Effort, thanks, smile. Wei, Wei Quinn Wong, Masters in Accounting. Masters in Business Analytics, with love and pride today and always. Wei Ting Song, Masters in Accounting, Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Chi Yen, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. Live a life you will remember. Wei Zhou, Masters in Accounting, Masters in Business Analytics. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Next is our Associate Dean for External Relations, Communications and Corporate Development, Diane McNulty. Good morning. Congratulations to the 2021 MS graduates in accounting and MS graduates in business analytics. I'm honored to be asked to speak at your graduation ceremony, although I wish it were in person. My message to you is that you are now a proud alumni of the Jindal School at UT Dallas. We are proud of you. And as an alum, we want you to do a couple of things for us. One is to engage with us by giving back time to other students and alumni. Connect with us. Join Jindal Connect and LinkedIn and um, we also want you to contact us. We're going to want news about you and your accomplishments and your successes. And we want to keep up with your emails and your addresses. 
best of luck to you in your career choices. And I hope to see you soon at an alumni event. Thank you so much, Diane McNulty. That was um, that was some really great uh, advice for these graduates as they move on to the careers and the rest of their life. You know, you can't get through this program without outstanding faculty. And it is my pleasure to turn it over to Steve Solcher to talk about the faculty that have made a difference in your careers. Thank you, Dean Powell. I'm uh, Steve Solcher, the Associate Program Director. And first, I would like to uh, thank the faculty. We had 21 faculty members this, uh, in this degree program, and uh, most of them are online uh, uh, joining us uh, uh, for your graduation. So first, I wanted to, uh, to uh, remind you and thank the faculty. Uh, but more uh, on a bigger picture, uh, it's been great to know you all. Um, uh, it's been two years plus uh, uh, the time we started talking uh, in some of you, maybe as, as many as uh, three years ago when you first started thinking about the program. And so it's been great to know you all. We definitely want to keep in touch as, as uh, other uh, speakers have mentioned, and we certainly will be in touch uh, from our side, giving you program updates and, and news, uh, et cetera. And I know that uh, a lot of you are going to be definitely keeping in touch with your fellow classmates, and and I think all that's really important. Uh, lastly, I'd like to, uh, or second to last, I'd like to thank Kathleen Milam for uh, all the work she's done with the program and with you all, and for this uh, <laughs> this great uh, uh, graduation. Uh, then, lastly, I'm going to turn it over to Shresh Radhakrishnan, who is our program director. Thanks, thanks, Steve. Congratulations, graduates. Great job. Uh, you went through uh, challenging times and had to adapt to complete your journey. These challenges, I'm certain, have made you resilient and strong, like what uh, Parker mentioned. The great part is uh, you all are looking at the positives that uh, these, uh, this COVID has thrown at you. Thanks for enduring and rising up to these challenges. You have made us proud and we are counting on you to continue to do so. Thanks to all who made your journey and accomplishments possible. Specifically, thanks to your parents, family, and friends who supported you all the way. Thanks to the wonderful faculty whose dedication and uh, uh, rising up to meet the challenges during these uh, COVID times were many that it is difficult to enumerate. Of course, uh, the students wouldn't have known all the challenges that this wonderful faculty faced, but they made it appear to be seamless. Thanks a lot for uh, rising up and doing that particularly to the faculty. Their steadfast devotion made this day possible, essentially. They would, I'm sure, love to hear from you in the future. Of course, thanks to the silent, but uh, uh, the most important support for the program from the deans, Dean Perko, Dean Jacob, Dean Powell, Dean Barden, and Dean McNulty, thanks. Lastly, and most importantly, thanks to Steve and Kathleen, Jeanette, and Lynn for holding the students' hands through the maze of challenges in the program, particularly uh, in the last one and a half years or so. Thanks a lot. Graduates, remember to stay in touch with us and with each other. Volunteer to help the future students of JSON and come back to talk to the future classes and inspire them. Let us know all about your accomplishments in the future, of which I'm certain that there will be no uh, paucity or dearth of. Wish you all the best again and congratulations again. Thank you. Over to you, Monica, for you. Thank you so much, Suresh. You know, to, to all of you that are graduating today, 
you didn't do this alone. You did this with a lot of support from your family and from your friends, from your spouses, maybe even children. So for all of you that are out there that made a difference for your graduate, that that gave them that extra pep talk, that um, that you know made them feel more secure when they maybe didn't do so well on an exam. We want to recognize all of you today as well and say thank you for being that support arm uh, for our students because without you, uh, their journey becomes more difficult. I think there's one thing that is for certain for our students and I remember telling a group of students this at the very beginning of the pandemic that there would be defining moments in their life and COVID will certainly be a defining moment in your life. You've got a lot of career runway ahead of you and you're going to remember before COVID and you're going to remember after COVID and nothing after COVID is going to be like what was before. And you have graduated at a remarkable time. I think Parker said it really well that all of you have had to be intentional. You've had to adapt. You've have, had to figure out how to be successful when everything else was out of your control. I think that is a remarkable uh, accomplishment when you could have chosen to stay on the sideline. You used this time when everything was out of control to advance your life. And that attitude, that discipline, that commitment to task is what is going to make you really successful. The other thing that I would offer to our graduates is that this is really one of the last times in your life that you get to make such an incredible set of friends. You know, when you go through hardship together, you cling together. You become soulmates of each other. And I encourage all of you, I mean, it's so much easier for you today than it certainly was uh, for me um, many decades ago to keep in touch with, with the friends that I made in graduate school. I challenge all of you, every month reach out to two or three people that you went through this program with check on them support them applaud their accomplishments stay connected to them because those are relationships that are going to pay dividends for the rest of your life you know there's a lot of things about the corporate world that simply adjusted to doing what they do uh, virtually they just basically stayed at home and did their same virtual jobs here in higher education and in graduate man management education Everything that we do was turned completely on its head. Everything about the way that faculty delivered courses and evaluated students and students took tests and students worked on projects, everything was spun out of control. And what is really an amazing achievement is one, how the Jendal School responded to that in your faculty. But number two, and most important, is how you responded to the pivots that we made to make um, your MS in accounting and your MS in business analytics degrees happen. We are so proud of our students and we are so proud of each of you. As I saw Kathleen and those slides go by and I saw your faces, I remember what it was like that very first semester in fall of 19 um, and things are very different today and we are all better for it. So I would offer my congratulations to the program and to the faculty for doing such an incredibly outstanding job with these students. To all of you, um, we will celebrate your success from now until infinity. We are very sincere about wanting you to stay in touch with us, wanting you to pay it forward and bring us other great students into this program. And to remember, hopefully, as you advance your careers, that the Jendal School made a difference in your life. So we look forward to hearing from you. Congratulations, graduates. Class of 2021, job well done. Thank you so much for attending this graduation today.